been hit twice in the one race. Hey guys, I'm here at the Quadlock Box at the F1 in Melbourne. Quadlock invited me, so I thought what better way to start this episode than to start it here. And what you can hear right now is the sound of the F1 cars warming up on their warm-up lap. That's a vibe. In this episode, we're going to take a look at all the new Quadlock products that they've just released and that I think you'd be pretty interested in. They've had Oscar Piastri here, which I missed out on. I didn't make it in time. And I do realise that he's a McLaren racer. Yeah, just disregard, disregard all of this, all this nonsense. But the F1's about to start, and I'm going to go and find myself a sweet location, and I'll see you guys back at home. Check this out. This I've had on my phone for the last six months, maybe even eight. I thought the wallet would not last this long. I thought for sure because your hand's always holding it when it's on the back of your phone, that it would wear out really quickly. But look at that, no signs of wear whatsoever. And it's actually the most handy thing. So is the Quadlock battery pack that they released last year. I take this with me camping all the time. It locks on and starts charging instantly. It's super handy. I just love that Quadlock keep releasing these little accessories to make the most out of your phone case. It's like if you have this, then you might as well expand and utilize all the different accessories that Quadlock have to offer. And it's great to see that they are constantly expanding the arsenal as well. It's really cool. And this is what we're gonna go through today and test out. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Quadlock. Use my link in the description below to get 10% off everything store wipe, including everything that we're going through today. First up is the Handlebar Clamp Mount Pro. They do also have the non-pro version, which has the blue tab and just the plastic hardware. We're gonna look at the pro version for today. Now, when I mounted this up the very first time, I included the little swivel guy that comes with it, but this just made it look pretty outrageous. It stuck out so far, so I reached out to Quadlock and I was just like, what the hell? Surely it's not meant to look like this. Do you have a list of bikes that this might benefit? And they came back to me with a list of bikes. We have a Triumph Speed Twin, the Honda CBR 650, Yamaha MT10, Kawasaki Versys, and the V-Strom 800 and 650. So I saw that they have the Triumph Speed Twin there and the Scrambler is kind of the same. So I gave it another shot, this time without this and it looks much better. It just looks like my old one. So if you are pretty tough for space on your handlebar, you can't fit any more of these guys on there. The little clamp mount, the handlebar mount. Great solution is to have this guy just mount straight into your clamp bolt. It holds everything down still securely and you also get to benefit from having your phone mounted to your bike. Really cool. We have the single pivot. So this is part of the Quadlox 360 lineup. So this guy, you just loosen it off and then basically it pivots any which way you would like. This is a nice low profile one. This is cool even if you just wanna use the suction mount, stick it somewhere, you can have it there while you're cooking or something and just have your phone up. It's a pretty cool little device. They also have the dual pivot one. So this is the small version and then you have the larger version as well. And this is sort of like your standard ram mounts where you just twist and lock everything in and it won't budge at all. But instead of having clamps, these guys have the teeth that can lock into any other quad lock head or base or anything like that. So you can mix and match and you can design your own build. Another cool thing about this is that you can have it so it's nice and flush. There's just the Allen head screw in there or you can replace it with the handle that's also supplied. And a great thing about this is that when you unscrew it all the way, the whole thing doesn't blow apart. There's no springs or anything like that. It's a nice thought to make that quite simple. We're gonna test this out a little bit later on. The action camera to quad lock adapter. This is so useful. Stick your action camera onto here and then stick this onto any of your quad lock heads that support the full locking mechanism. Not so much the, the mag ones because I feel like it would just fall off with weight and vibration. Very, very handy. You can just stick this in your pocket and then when you wanna get a shot, you can mount it up to your tripod say, Get an action camera shot, mount it up to your push bike, mount it up to your motorbike, mount it wherever you have a quarter lock head. Very, very handy piece of kit. They also have the more permanent fixed solution as well. 
So this is the action camera adapter. And this just mounts onto any quad lock base. Um, it's got the teeth on the bottom, so it's all nice and secure and tight. And then, yeah, you can mount up action cameras to that as well. And then we have the suction base. This works amazingly. I've used a lot of cheaper suction bases in the past and I just don't trust them. They've come off, they've fallen apart. This feels really nice, high quality, quad lock quality. Boom, she's not going anywhere. It holds on, oh, <laughs> it holds on so tight. Really easy to just take off as well. And you wanna just give the surface a nice wipe down with a microfiber cloth just to get rid of any dust or any grease, just so it gives it the best chance of sticking and won't fall off when you've got an action camera in there. That ain't going anywhere anytime soon. It holds up to 1.2 kilos or one and a half pounds. It isn't recommended for mounting on your motorcycle. I tried it on my tank, it does work, but when you're riding with the vibrations, those micro frequencies, they don't recommend it because it can just make it pop off. But any other smooth, clean surface, this thing's gonna lock and stick on so, so well. Okay, so we've established that it sticks really well to nice, clean surfaces. Let's see how it goes mounted on the Jeep, burning through a dirt road with an action camera on here, filming me on my scrambler. Let's do that. Yeah. I've got my support crew, Ryder and Jackie, woo! Okay, so we've got the quad lock suction mount. We're just gonna stick this on the back here. I've never done this before, so we'll see how we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try to get a couple of rollers. I'm gonna be like here or something. Try it without the extension selfie stick first, just to minimize that wobble, but we might try it later because this tire could be in the way of the shot. So I'm using the Insta360 app as a preview remote. So I can see what I'm shooting. All right, Jackie, do you want to roll ahead of me? So we got the extension on now. Hopefully it doesn't wobble around too much. We're gonna try it. We're gonna time this up with the sun. It's gonna crack just underneath that cloud and we're gonna burn through the dirt road here. And hopefully we'll get a nice shot of meters burning behind the Jeep. I think it's, a, I think it's about time. We might miss it. <laughs> I don't know. Take it away, Jack, let's hit the road. Quadlock have come up with some pretty innovative ideas in the past, all of which are there to help us have a better user experience with our phones, our motorcycles, cars, boats, office. And now action cameras. I don't know about you, but I think that looked pretty good. Don't forget to use the link in the description below for 10% off everything store-wide. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.